director of the New Jersey Hispanic Research and Information Center at the North Public Library, also referred to as the NJHRIC or HRIC. Now the HRIC is made up of three divisions. The oldest division is La Sala Hispanoamericana, which is one of the largest Spanish language book collections of any public library in New Jersey. And it's where the Spanish dominant patron can find resources and bilingual staff to assist with their information needs in their native language. Another division is the Hispanic Reference Collection, made up of a bilingual research level collection of books about and or written by New Jersey's Hispanic communities. A Spanish language newspaper collection, over 100 oral history interviews with New Jersey's Hispanic community members, and more. The third component and focus of today's tour is of the largest and oldest Hispanic community in New Jersey, the Puerto Rican Community Archives. Hi, I'm Renny Lombard. I'm an archival assistant with the New Republic Library and JHIC. Um, this is our off-site storage. Here, let me give you a behind-the-scenes tour. Here's where we uh, store our unprocessed materials before we bring them back to the main archives to process. Let me show you some of the unprocessed boxes. This is our off-site storage. Um, we have about 200 square feet of archival space here. Um, as you can see, most of it's already been taken up. Uh, as archivists, we're always looking for more space to store materials. That's one of the challenges of being an archive. Um, I have here some unprocessed materials that you can take a look at. And these are the personal papers of Dr. Olga Jimenez de Wagenheim, and she was a co-founder of the NJHRIC. We try and keep the papers uh, in the, about the same order in which they were donated. This is important for retaining their historical context when they're being processed. Uh, so I'll throw it over to Priscilla Cruz to show you a bit about that process. Hello, I'm Priscilla Cruz. I am a Rutgers University Newark student. I am currently working as an archival intern here at the North Public Library. I work with processing the material that has been donated to the archives. The basis of processing is organization, so my job is to ensure that all the material is transferred into acid-free folders and boxes, and to also start creating an inventory of all the materials that we have. This is so that all of these materials and resources can be accessible to you or to anyone who is interested in doing research or using these materials for their own kinds of projects. Hello, my name is Hoover Ayala and I'm the archivist at the Puerto Rican Community Archives. I worked as an intern, archival assistant, and archivist for over 10 years. The Puerto Rican Community Archives is a treasure trove of primary source materials documenting the various Puerto Rican communities in the state of New Jersey. Puerto Ricans are one of the largest and oldest Hispanic groups in the state. They have been involved in all aspects of civic life and have contributed to the state's rich history and culture. The archives has accessioned over 55 unique collections and over 600 cubic feet of materials. The types of materials in the archives includes newspapers, scrapbooks, photographs, newsletters, and much more. Subject matter includes community activism, community organizations and leaders, bilingual education, migration and settlement, to name a few. The majority of materials are in English, with approximately 10 to 15 percent of materials in Spanish. Here we have some newspapers that were founded in Newark, New Jersey. The first being El Nuevo Coqui, which was founded in the late 1970s by Irving Linares. And here we have La Tribuna, which was founded by Carlos Pito in the early 1960s. Here is one of our favorite items in the archives. It's a scrapbook of the family of Dr. Jose Hernandez Gutierrez and Blanca Alvarez Blanco. He was the first Puerto Rican dentist in Jersey City. And uh, the scrapbook is in very delicate condition. And these are photographs of his family from the early 1920s and 1930s. We have uh, materials donated by Sigfredo Carrion, which includes photographs of a lead campaign in Newark in the um, 1970s. We also have newsletters from local to Canton, New Jersey that was created by Luz Cardona. And we also have materials from the Puerto Rican Statewide Parade that's held here in Newark. Hi 
everybody, my name is Emily Sanchez and I'm a Retrop Fellow here at the Newark Public Library. Um, my job for the tour today is to share with you a little bit about how you can use the amazing collections just mentioned for research. So I'm currently working on a project about community organizing in several different parts of the state. And one of the key questions, one of the podcast episodes is how have working class residents organized to protest police brutality? So one of the ways I can answer this question is by uh, going on the Newark Public Library website. The exact URL is showing up on the screen right now. So once I'm on the website, um, I would search for terms uh, that are related to my topic. So. Um, these terms could be um, like policing, police, police brutality, rebellions, uh, and then I would go on to identify some collections that I see uh, might help me answer my original question. Um, so, and I actually, on the screen right now, you can see that there are some collections that are part of the PRCA. So once I've identified those collections, I would reach out to the archive and set up an appointment. So, um, and just to clarify too, uh, you can reach out to the library to set up an appointment um, and not necessarily have a product in mind like a podcast or an art piece or an essay or an article. All you have to have is curiosity to contact us and come visit us and we're really excited to welcome you. We hope you enjoyed the tour and are inspired to schedule an in-person visit soon. To schedule an in-person visit to any division, contact us via email at njhric at npl.org or by phone at area code 973-733-4791. And for the latest on HRIC programs and projects, you could visit www.npl.org or follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Our handle is at N-J-H-R-I-C. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you soon.